My name is Michelle Tomasco and I'm a member of the Campus Beat. The Campus Beat is a registered student organization working toward establishing a cafe space on Western Michigan University's campus. Our cafe will provide locally sourced, organic, fresh, healthy meal options that also cater to a variety of dietary needs. Our open house, which took place on April 8th, was our chance to present the cultural aspect of the Campus Beat. Aside from providing dinner, the open house brought together student musicians, artists, poets, interior designers, and other registered student organizations in order to present a glimpse of what our cafe will offer. I started working on the Campus Beat specifically as like part of my project for the Gibbs House for Environmental Research. And also, I was involved in an earlier phase of it called the Weekly Initiative for a Student-Led Cooperative Cafe when I was a sophomore, so then when I had an opportunity to take it up again after like Caleb and Christina and Ian had worked on the Purple Potato Cafe, like um, then we all kind of started working on the campus beat together. So started about 2005 with an initial project by Ash Norton, who reviewed a variety of campus cafes around the country, and it subsequently followed up with a number of student-run projects in the campus of the Living Learning Laboratory class. We had an event earlier in the semester and that was more about the food aspect and this one was more about the atmosphere of the actual cafe and how we want to look, you know, aesthetics and events that could possibly take place there, that type of thing. What this represents is the culmination of the work of a lot of different individuals that have been passionate about this and a lot of students that have taken extra time outside, you know, in absolute uh, volunteer spirit and in a co-curricular way. I love the entire event. Um, I actually sampled most of the food and it was absolutely delicious. I really liked the coffee house kind of feel to the event. I loved the fact that there were different student organizations there representing some of their involvement that led to um, the event as it, as it played out. Well, I know that a lot of the members who are working with Campus B right now have worked with Students for Spanel Earth in the past, and it's really exciting to see them so energetic and passionate and working together behind an issue that is very important to all of us. You know, when the Campus Beat comes about, uh, the Campus Garden or the Student Garden is uh, really looking to provide them with produce. Or, and then as far as this event, the Student Garden, we are just able to kind of uh, table and kind of show people um, what we're doing and how we're trying to get involved with Campus Speed as well. Yeah, and it's more than a cafe. It's more than just serving really good homemade fresh meals. Uh, it's also bringing in student culture with art and music and uh, having a space to like, show movies or have groups to meet for people to just really connect. Most importantly for me I think is to, to create a place on campus that truly is a venue for people to celebrate what they do, you know, in their kind of co-curricular activities and why they came to Western Michigan University. My vision for the Campus Beat is a place where students can go and share their different talents. People can share art and they can share different foods from their various backgrounds. A place where students can go and take on leadership roles and learn from each other and to support the community through providing a great space like this. I think the biggest thing about this cafe being such a beneficial part to Western is that it's so much like we're bringing food, we're bringing music and art, and we're giving students a chance to gain leadership experiences in ways that really haven't been available before. A student cafe, the Campus Beat, would um, provide students great experiences, whether that be gardening, business operations, marketing, advertising, um, the design. I mean, there's all kinds of um, opportunities for students to have very um, real world experience running uh, a, a cafe like this. The Campus Beat has been probably one of my most valuable learning experiences at Western working on this project. I've learned so much and I've also met a lot of really great people. I think the Campus Beat would be extremely beneficial to Kalamazoo and to Western because right now there's nothing like it. Campus Beat has probably the potential to tie in the um, 
of the local awareness of uh, the green movement and locally sourced uh, foods, um, not only produce and but different types of products that are manufactured locally, that may be consumed locally. And I think that in, in sharing those ideas, it's getting the ball rolling for everybody. Sustainability, um, health, nutrition, eating locally grown food, student involvement are all things that um, prospective students are interested in seeing. I just graduated from KVCC. Uh, I came up here to um, be a part of the Campus B. I like what it's doing for not only the, the school, you know, but for the community also. You know, it's giving us some good, fresh, organic, locally grown food. You can't really truly be sustainable if you're not supporting what's right here. And that's what the Campus Beat is helping to promote. Diverse food, diverse culture, diverse art, music, poetry, any of these things that, uh, that are in kind of the mission of the Campus Beat are fundamental aspects of sustainability. A really great student hangout space and that's what the Campus Beat is going to do and that's promoting sustainability. Students on campus are unhappy with the food that's being served. They want local, they want sustainable, nutritious, healthy meals and the Campus Beat will give that to them. Students are allowed to be idealistic and can push complicated concepts like sustainability as far as, as they can be pushed. And so I think that the student cafe portion of the food system here is continually going to be at the cutting edge of what sustainable food is. And that's a great thing because we can use the lessons that we learned from that in the rest of our operations here. And we can incorporate that into the, the way that we do business across the entire campus. I'll know when the Campus Beat has succeeded when I can come back to the cafe once it's established and see all the people that are attending it and eating the food and really connecting with each other. I really applaud the work that students are doing about the Campus Beat and am very supportive and excited for the next steps, frankly.